When I'm talking about high intensity interval training, I'm talking about 30 minutes at the most with the warm up and cool down. And in that, you have maybe one to four minutes where you're getting your heart rate up to around 80 to 90% of your max, or on a rating of perceived exertion of one to 10, with 10 being max. You're looking at about a seven or an eight for that interval. And then you have one to four minutes of recovery where you're bringing your body down to a real easy state before you hit the next one. And most people, when they start off, might do one interval of two minutes. And they're like, oh, that was so hard. I can't do another one. And that's fine because we want to build up. But we don't want it to be 45 minutes where your heart rate is at 70% or your rating of perceived exertion is at an eight or nine. But in reality, it's the fatigue that's invoking that because then you're squarely in that moderate intensity again. And what happens with moderate intensity is it increases cortisol. Now, some cortisol is good, but when we're in perimenopause, we are already in a very, what we call sympathetically driven state. So that means we're tired but wired. Our baseline cortisol is elevated. And when our cortisol is elevated, we have a stimulus to put on fat, keep residual inflammation, bloating, can't sleep, can't come down, can't relax. 